Alright everybody, got a little special treat for you today. Today, we came to this job last week and this is a liner in the water. Hear it? See it? It is underneath. It has gotten in through the gaps here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to see how bad this tub is underneath. We're going to pull the drain out. We're going to take off the cover, the overflow cover here. And hopefully we're going to tip this up from the end and pull it out. And hopefully it doesn't smell really, really bad. Because <laughs> any static water is going to do that. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to try to resurface the tub in the walls. Um, unless there's something really bad with the tub that we can't fix, which... Is, you guys know if you've been watching any of my videos, you know I can fix pretty much anything in the tub. So that's what we're going to get started on. And we'll pick it up from there. Back to do the tub reveal, the tub underneath the tub. What do we got? Well, first of all, let me tell you how we got this off. Okay. Uh, we cut all the silicone around this. Okay. And then I took a chisel, which you can tell how much pressure I put on this. But I laid this underneath the edge, put it right here on, on the top of the screwdriver to give me leverage so it wouldn't bust my knuckles. And I worked it up along the front. Once I got my hand grip on it, I, I could lift it up. So it's coming up now. Okay. So let's, Ooh, see, what's, let's see what's underneath. It kind of smells already. It. Yeah. Smell it. it stinks. Ready? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Oh man, that smells bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should have got our, our mask for this one. This is uh Oh, what is all that black stuff right there? This that right there is the tar that they used to seal this down with. But you can see right there. Okay. You see that corner? Oh yeah. That's all that greenish, that's all calcium hard water and corrosion that has sunk into that corner and leaked down. By doing that and you stepping on it. Uh -huh. You're causing the uh, the stuff to fail. Okay. So and that's you, why it was really squishy. That's why you got that squishy because all the water was underneath there. And it was being held in by the drain because the drain was clamping it down. Ah. Uh. So, and this tar on the top here is what they used to... Uh, <laughs> so this is essentially not the way to, to do a job like this, right? Well, this is what they used to do. Now you just refinish them. You reglaze them like what I do. Okay. So we're going to make this look... Brand new. We're okay. going to make this look brand new. Brand new. How so? I'm going to reglaze it. I'm going to clean it first. And then I'm going to show you how I did the chemicals. Your chemicals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell us about the chemicals. Now, I ain't going to tell you about my chemicals. Okay, <laughs> that's a secret. The secret is secret. in the chemicals. Nobody else is using it. Nobody. Nobody. On planet Earth. Okay. Uh, not for this purpose. Okay. I stumbled upon it as an accident. Got and, it. Uh, and it has, it has done me a, a great service for the last 18 years. Oh, you've been doing it that long. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Almost 19 years. Goodness. Two decades of this, oh, guys. Man. All right. Let's get this out of here. So All I'm right. Clean Be back. Okay, guys. This is what's left underneath. This is all their seal. This is rubber. It's what they use under shower doors. Sometimes to make a good water seal so the water doesn't leak underneath. It's going to take us a little bit to get all this off. But I'm going to show you what it does afterwards. What the chemicals do. We're going to make this thing look brand new. I do see that we are going to have to put new grout down here in the bottom. Where they took that out to sink that, that uh, liner. So it's set down inside the pile. We can regrout that. Oh yeah, they, they really did a, a not so professional job. Well, it's what they have to do to get that liner to sit lower than the tile so it doesn't sit on top of the tile. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. I need to go outside and get some gloves. And the smell started to dissipate a little bit, but man, whew. That explained dissipate. Okay, guys. I put the first chemical on it. And you can see a lot of stuff came off, a lot of that mold. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on it still, but that's 
the black tar comes off because it came off the front here pretty easy um, I'm gonna let this set for about 20 30 minutes to really break stuff loose and then once that uh, mark hits I'll come in and rinse it off and show you what that looks like and then you'll see some some stuff in here that we've got to uh, address and I'll tell you what that is in a minute but it's coming clean we'll just be surprised at how how clean this thing does come but until then I'll bring it back yes it's the same tub this is the first clean sanded everything down got everything nice and clean tub looks like it's been acid washed before because there's a few spots where uh, it feels a little rough um, and I think they may have done that when they put the liner in so the tar silicone would stick to the tub but um, it's wet right now so you see a little shine once it dries out there's not much of a shine to it even down the side there's no shine so this was acid washed before Okay, on to the second clean. Make sure the walls are nice and clean. We're going to fix the grout lines. And I'll show you how we do that without using grout or caulking. <laughs> Back at it. What do we uh, got going here? Well, an alternative to grout, especially in the tub industry, you don't have time for the grout to dry, and then you can't seal the grout, and then spray over it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little technique that I've developed, and I'm just taking some Home Depot, but you can use any Bondo, but you wanna get the stuff that's gonna harden up. It's gonna get nice and hard and not be really soft. But isn't Bondo for like cars? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bondo's for a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. But I mean, it's, it's uh, this is an alternative to grout because I mean this will dry in a couple of minutes. I see you already got you. it laid over here in the cracks. Is yeah, that? Yeah, I'm going to show you how I do this, and then how you can finish this off without any sanding. Without sanding it. Without sanding anything out, just to use a razor. Okay, how this works? Just like grout, you're going to take it and you're going to just squeeze it into the hole. Just squeeze it in. You want to make sure this is nice and dry. This is why we're back the second day. I have a little blower that um, I use to blow all the water out, which is what I normally do before you bring this along. Okay. Take off the excess. Like a little squeegee. Like a little squeegee. And then you just squeeze it in and fill all the cracks and you can even blend it with the other side. Oh wow. So um, once you get this done and you get you, and it's good to have a sharp edge on one so you can, when you squeeze it out, you have that nice straight line, but I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't. Okay. Okay, now, this section here, we've already done. See the sharp edge? It leaves that little line there. It breaks uh, up a bit. So you'll come in with your razor as it's still a little soft. See that? It makes it nice and clean. Gives you a nice clean edge. It's like putty that seems dries quick. Yeah, and then on the top part here, you just take it and run it along the edge. And it takes it right off the towel. Smooth. So now you have this nice clean edge. Wow. Now that's what we're going to do all the way around this tub so we don't have to use grout and you don't use caulking to spray over it. And this dries faster than, than grout, right? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, this was done, what, five minutes ago? And it's, and it's at a point now where we can, without it being a mess, because if we came over and did this one, I mean, it's still a little pliable. So uh, you don't want to do that just yet. So you give it a second and you mix up your next batch. So you say about 10 minutes? Um, it depends on how much harder you put in. It depends on how hot it is outside. Okay. Um, and 
once you, like say, I'll do this side first. Okay. And then I'll clean up my board, I'll mix up some more, and then I'll come across here. Okay, so the time By it takes By the time to I'm that. done to clean off my board and putting it away, I can come over and I can start doing this. Because it's, 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 it's dry enough, okay? Mm-hmm. It's dry enough to... Oh, wow. And so then it gets Smooth. right out of the ground. Smooth. Now, another thing you can do, too, is if you don't have that clean line right, right. there, you can take a razor knife. We call those Zacto knives. Zacto knives and razor knives here. And then just plant this against the wall. Flush with the wall. Huh? And then just run your line straight down like this because it's nice and soft. And you're going to cut your line in that soft bondo. And you just come back. And you're not going to push it into the wall. You just want to bump it. You want to bump it. Nice tap. Okay. Just a, just a little, little tap there. Man, that looks amazing. Did you come up with this Bondo technique? I've never... <laughs> um, yeah, you know, invention is from necessity. Mm. So I wanted to, I tried to figure out a way to do things a lot faster and more efficient and it will work. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is, this is my little how-to one day I needed to do something because I didn't have a grout with me. I used up all the grout. Well, <laughs> didn't have enough. But, and I said, well, okay, I'll just use Bondo, but it's going to take a lot of sanding. But then I started just doing this, and um, I was like, oh, that's easy. <laughs> Much easier than gross. So, I mean, I can do this whole tub like this in 20, 30 minutes. It's not, you know. And if see, you, that, you that, guys would have saw this tub yesterday, oh, man. Complete night and day. And then just, you know, the first time you try it, it might take you a minute. You know, you you might want to take some time and just be careful. But after you get doing this a while, like I'm not even trying to be careful here because I know what I can and can't do because I've tried this a bunch of times. And it just makes things so much nicer, so much cleaner. Like you're like really like the home improvement guy I used to watch growing up. What was his name? Tim 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 Allen. Tim Allen. Home improvement. Ooh, yeah, that was the name of the show, right? Home improvement. Yeah, home improvement. He's actually got a new show, a new video or on YouTube called The Vic. It's an all electric car. It's an all electric car. You know, I'm a car guy, so um, I, I watch all that stuff and he's making this old old car. He's building it pretty much from scratch and it's all electric. What about his homie Al? Well, I haven't seen Al. Al was Al was the one that actually knew what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, not too long ago, I watched a documentary on that and uh, what all they what they were doing now. It was pretty interesting. Love YouTube. Man, there's a lot you can learn. But you know, just like people watching this video right now, you know, they want to know how to do this stuff without paying, you know, hundreds of dollars to have it done. But, it's um guys if you like the video comment down below this is hard work i've been here the whole two days trust me saving a lot of money and a lot of time yeah and we're going to show you how we spray it and tape it up and prep it and everything here in a minute because this is not going to take much longer and if you want when you're done with this you can take a piece of sandpaper see like these little things right here that you can see where it's still kind of wet and soft, you know, those will come loose. Like granules, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you can just take your razor knife or push razor, do that, and then watch this give me a straight line. Perfect. So it gives me a straight line every time. You just, you don't get too heavy with it because it's still soft. You can push it in or pull it out. Got it. So once you do that, and you take sandpaper and go around the edges if you want, you know, but... It does still come out though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But as long as it's still soft like this, once it gets hard, it's it's in there. Mm. And, um...
that's it. That's 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 the way you do it. So we're gonna come back. We're gonna tape this up and then get ready to shoot it. Yeah, we're gonna take the fixtures off if they'll come off. Okay. Uh, these older ones sometimes they freeze up, and I, you know, I'm not gonna break plumbing to take right. them off. So we tape them up if you have to. <clears throat> we're gonna tape everything up, drop everything, bring our equipment in, and we're gonna spray it. So cool. We'll All right, guys. We'll, we'll be see back. you after that. Don't work too hard. <laughs> Got everything taped up, repaired, plastic it off. Got my fan set up. This is going to exhaust everything out through a window. I've got my turbine set up out there. Everything's got a drop cloth on it. Everything's covered. <clears throat> now we're about to spray the primer, then the epoxy. Looks better already. There's the finished product. Okay, here we go guys. Let's see what the finished product looks like. Enter into the bathroom. Oh wow. Look at this. Pristine. Are these new handles? No, I just buff and polish them. The old ones? Yeah. Wow. You just saved me like 30 bucks. I did put you uh I did put a new drain in because the other one was just so, the chrome was all off of it. So I got you a new one and put that in wow. with the new all the flow cover. Wow, this is like... <laughs> from zero to hero. Oh. And then we did the grout work too, you did... Because there was a separation from the old tub, right? So we had to regrout that. Yeah, once that dries out... Wow. The color change a little bit, a little more. Look at this, guys. Compared to what it was. Compared to what it was, this is a new tub. I actually won't mind taking a bath in this thing. <laughs> Goodness. And you just put your new shower head on tomorrow when you get Boom. You can shower in tomorrow morning. There we go. All right, here we are. Finished product? Yes, sir. Tell us what we did. Okay, let's go in and check it out. All right. Okay, I'm going to sit down here so I can explain. Okay. What we had was, originally we had a tub of liner, which you saw in the beginning. Um, we pulled the old liner out, and it was black mold underneath. We cleaned that up. There was, we were lucky because there was no damage to the tub. It was just, you know, uh, what they didn't for the alternative of actually spraying. Mm. You said something about acid wash too, they had acid wash. Yeah, they acid washed it, I think, I don't know if, I, I think that maybe have been why they put the liner in because it was dull and there were a lot, there's lines going down the sides of the tub where chemicals run down. Okay. So it eats away more in that spot um, than when they wipe, wipe the whole thing. Because they'll go along and pour it along and it, it heavy, concentration will run down then they'll wipe it um, there was a, a big white strip coming from the overflow but we repaired that you can see here where the gaps were around where we showed you we did the bondo around the, so now it's, it was bondoed and then we painted that so now you're gonna have a nice clean clean line look at that look at the grout guys it's white so you don't have to worry about ever having dirty grout again because it encapsulates the grout. So, because grout is the most porous part of this tub, so it's gonna hold, you know, your moisture and bacteria and it's gonna grow mold on it. Um, the um, fixtures, we just clean those with the chemicals and then we buff them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We clean the fixtures, those aren't new? No, those are, those are the same ones. We just buff and polish those and just put them back on so you don't have to. The only thing we did do is I bought you a new drain because the other one was black, was just the chrome was gone. 
So we bought a new one and it came with the overflow cover. So we oh, just nice. put that in there. Um, and a new shower ring around the top. I had an extra one of those, so I just put a new one on there. Cleaned up the doors. Got a lot of the, all the little silicone off of oh, them. Oh yeah, guys. You know, the doors may have some residue left on them, but just take some Windex okay. tomorrow and just kind of clean them up really good. And okay. then be, they'll get all that hard water off. Wow, this looks soap. amazing. Look at this, guys. Top to bottom. It's like a brand new tub. Now, the best way to take care of this. Okay. No abrases, no common, no Ajax, no Scotch Brite, because that will dull the shine. It's like, a, it's like wet sanding. Got you know? it. Uh, no bleach, because you don't really need bleach, because you're not going to have a mold problem. Okay. Unless, that is, if you don't clean it, if you get tons of soap on there, the soap's going to hold the mold. Got it. So, you don't need bleach, because bleach is very harsh, and it will dull the shine. 409, fantastic, simple green scrubbing bubbles, and a big nylon brush. It's kind of like a giant toothbrush. Okay. Uh, you get it in the, you know, just... So, no scoring pads all, all or nothing the, like that. The cleaning department, no, no scrubbing pads. You, won't, you won't, don't need them. Okay. So you spray the product all over the wall, let it sit for a few minutes, take your brush, dip it in water, scrub it, and then rinse it off. Uh, this is really close to an automotive paint. So by that, if, good rule of thumb, if you would not use it on your car, don't use it on your shower, on your tub. Mm. So there's, you know, there's, but there's a lot of household cleaners you can use on your tub. Classic just, truck addiction, guys, coming through, saving the day, saving lots of money, and doing the perfect job. Oh, it's showing the double bicep again? Huh. Push that baby up. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you coming through, man. You're Thank welcome. you so much, you're man. You're welcome. Uh, and, you know, you got our number, so if you have any questions, just call us. And you're going to leave it in the, in the description. Comment down below. What do you guys think of the video, the work, the job? I mean, this is a DIY. You can get it done during quarantine time. This is a good project, and yeah, you have just, it all right here. And let me just, a lot of people don't realize this, but we have multiple colors of stone, what they call the granite, like it's a multi-spec. Okay. We can spray these to look. We've got the six, okay. 60 colors to choose from. We can spray these, and we can spray the shower walls to match. Um, we do fiberglass shower units, tubs, shower walls, walk-in showers, cultured marble, uh, fiberglass, the laminate. We even, we have a chemical, another product we use for garage floors and tile floors. If you don't wrap with all that, when we spray the floors to look like granite or stone. So check out the website. The website is actually called, is takenforgraniteoc.com. Taken we're located, for yeah, we're located in Huntington Beach, California. We travel all around. All so, the way to San Diego to Bakersfield, right? And to Vegas. And to Vegas. Yeah. So we do to, if you're seeing this video, you're probably seeing it on Classic Truck Addictions, which is where I keep my work videos and my truck videos, which the truck that I'm doing now is sprayed with all of my tub products. Uh, and I'm doing everything that I've done to this tub, to a tub or a shower, fiberglass, any kind of bondo, any, any primers, paints, epoxies, I'm doing on my truck. So check it out. It's really high guys. It's going to SEMA hopefully in the next year. So we'll check it out. Hey, if you guys want to hear any new, uh, I mean, see any new videos, any topics, comment down below. We love the suggestions. And uh, signing off. Thanks again, man. I appreciate you coming You're out. Welcome. welcome. Appreciate it. Thanks for the hospitality. All right.